was my win. Okay. But with Fabi playing oh, king f6, happening. is it? Oh, oh. Wait, wait a second. He took it up. <laughs> <laughs> he took it up. I think he just got warm. I said, I said it, he puts it on when he thinks the game is less than 10 minutes because otherwise he starts to get too hot in the room. You did say that. I did. did what happened? You were correct. Clip it and ship it. Clip and ship it, everybody. All right, but seriously, you can put the rook on e3 or e8, I think, if we're worried about rook takes d4 tactics. And How easy is rook e3, a5, b8, rook a6, and knight takes e2, rook takes a5? Oh my gosh, yeah, it's like never ending. I mean, you still have to win that, you know, because the pawn is on a light square. The, the light square was not go. about to move the rook too. He was about to play knight f3. We might even see a knight and bishop checkmate to culminate all of this. Oh, man. <laughs> I think he, Fabiano would resign, but he did go knight f3. By the way, if, if Hikaru goes on to win this game, and we do have him in studio, I will be teasing him about the coat. <laughs> do, not, do not worry, chat. I think this is actually an excellent move. Because yeah. it invites rook e6, Hikaru will take, take g5, and then easily surround the e2 pawn. And all he needs is one pawn, the c3 pawn, yeah. to win the game. And that's the pawn he needs. Unless somehow the B pawn yeah. becomes an A pawn. That's what I said. Yeah, no, but I'm saying. Yeah, I was, I was just about to say, unless somehow the B pawn becomes an A pawn, there are outside drawing yeah, Oh, you, it's, you I still see. have the C3 pawn always. Which is oh, a, oh, Coke coming back on. Yeah. So now Hikaru's back <laughs> into confidence. I don't speak good little, anymore. Little shimmy that he did when he <laughs> put it on. <laughs> Took one from Steph Curry. Oh, yeah. Drop the three, drop the shimmy. Bobby is dropping low on the clock right now. He's about to be under a minute, um, which we've been talking about the problems on the board. That is a big problem off the board. He looks like he's going to resign. Yeah, he looks like he's finally up. Oh, and as we see it, OMGs or snaps. We do indeed wow, have wow, a wow. victory for Hikaru Nakamura in round eight of the 2021 FIDE candidates. Hikaru... I can't quite read his lips there, but I can't read them either. But I'm wondering what part of the game they're focusing yeah. on. It's 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 much earlier. I can't believe they have the stamina to analyze at the board after that unbelievable struggle. I mean, but all right, let's go. <laughs> let's go rest. They said. <laughs> yeah, what a game though by Hikaru Nakamura. Yeah, seriously. He might have had to win it like 40 different times. But that's because Fabiano Caruana gave him everything he could handle. But when all is said and done, Hikar used those initially two minor pieces versus the Rook. That dynamic, he just seemed to understand it extremely well. He scores a very important victory. And for the first time, he has risen above 50%. And that's nothing to sneeze at because this tournament is ridiculously tough. And for the first time in seven years, Hikaru Nakamura defeats his American 